Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a couple of wines in front of me. One of them says Shiraz on the label, and one of them, by subtle hints, uh, uh, if you, which are not, not on the bottle, but if you uh, uh, peruse Tintinet, uh, will uh, comes up with a, as a, yes, I may be rather a lot of Shiraz in there, uh, but it um, doesn't say, it just says, well, I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll tell you what it says on the, on the label. Uh, it's Le Vin de Madame Fantôme uh, Black Red, uh, and its name is Inomancy. Uh, the wine sees all. Brought to you by the Phantom Wine Company. In wine there is truth, Pliny, blah, blah, blah. It's from the coastal region in South Africa. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, anyway, enigmatic elixir. Hopefully, let's see if it lives up to its billing. Well, there's a very ripe bit and there's a slightly vinegary bit here. Uh, and I like the right bit, but I'm not too sure about the vinegary bit. It's almost a, just a little bit too volatile for its own good. There's this dusty, warm, plummy character, uh, which I associate with uh, certain parts of South Africa. But there's also something else in there uh, that has me going, hmm, not sure about that. Maybe it's a little bit of pinotage that uh, has gone a little bit too volatile. But, um, mm, I'm, well, I'll taste and report back in a moment. It's got this chocolate wafer biscuit character. Um, I don't know if Blue Ribbon or Taxi Biscuits still exist, but there is that character that I get in quite a lot of um, South African Shiraz. Um, then this slightly dry character. I don't notice that uh, volatile element quite as much, but maybe the finish is just that little bit too dry uh, and lacks a um, suppleness and ju juiciness. It's, I'd certainly sit down with a nice steak and uh, uh, drink quite a bit of it, but um, uh, maybe the thing I like about it uh, uh, as much as anything at the moment is the packaging. The packaging, look, it, it, look, it looks quite smart. The wine's okay, but um, uh, I like the packaging. Next one uh, does say Shiraz on the label, uh, and it's Wakefield Estate Shiraz from the Clare Valley uh, in Australia, 2014 vintage. Um, they're both about the same alcohol they use, I think, the first... First was um, 14, this is 14, so let's give this a whirl. And this is much more conventional uh, Shiraz. It's um, the, that little edge of Clare Valley mintiness, some earthiness, dark, slightly brooding berry and black currant, and um, it feels like there's going to be concentration, uh, but not too much of it, and um, intensity but freshness at the same time. Yeah, these generous, um, plummy, spicy characters coming through. A little bit of dark chocolate in there. Some, uh, in terms of spice, there's uh, cinnamon, is it? Or there's something slightly exotic in there, but not so exotic that the uh, lovely fruit gets um, uh, obscured by it. Uh, maybe a touch of uh, vanilla from oak. Uh, but, um, yes, as I say, it's this fruit that's front and centre. Um, and this minty earthiness just there just making its presence felt rather than dominating the wine uh, not uh, it sounds like there's loads going on there it's not in, in terms of layers and layers of flavor uh, I don't think that's what it's about they have got higher and uh, higher levels of uh, uh, of Shiraz I think their, their top one's called St Andrews here it's the the idea is to be a really good honest glass of fruit I've always thought of that as the as the uh, Clare Valley Forte they can do some impressive stuff but uh, in the reds it's their just lovely, honest drinkability uh, that uh, that makes it, uh, for me, a more attractive prospect usually than a McLaren Vale. Um, but here, I think they've, they've done a, a really nice job. Uh, I it, It's 2014, so it's, it's just over two years old. We're, I'm, I'm in summer UK summer 2016 here. But it feels like if you wanted to, you could happily keep hold of that for five years. And I wouldn't be surprised if you've got the right conditions that it goes on for a little bit longer. But um, no crime to uh, undo the top now. Uh, no crime to undo the top five years from now. I think it'll give you pleasure every point along the way. See you soon.